Hey, first things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection, Technology Gain, times 2, 3, and 5. This is my 147-inch 235.1 uh, screen that was coated with superior technology. Now I know some people are saying, hey, how can we get to fill out the whole entire screen? Because, or why did I build this screen? This screen was built for a particular projector, which I used to have here. I'm planning to buy another one anyway, just 235.1, uh, to fill this out. Actually, I don't need to buy another one. I have one upstairs. I have a ViewSonic upstairs that does 235.1. All right, anyway, so, uh, today we're gonna be doing this demonstration on one of the projectors that will be coming with our home cinema in a box. This is by our new company under K and A. Um, and this is home cinema in a box. Now some will come with wallpaper projection screen packages. Some will be outdoor packages. They'll come with portable screens. Actually we're looking at getting an inflatable screen also too. And as you've seen by that technology it has the ability to be able to pull up images in the daytime hours. Now I'm going to show you again. This is the, for those who haven't seen it. This is the wallpaper surface. This is my sample sheet that I got from a company. Um, I'll be cleaning this down and coating this very soon. This is what's going to go on this wall right here. And then over here, I'm going to show you uh, the, um, the several projectors that I do own. This is an NEC 720p projector at 3700 lumens. This is 4200 lumens. This is an Epson at 4200 lumens. And down there is an NEC uh, projector at 2600 lumens. Now keep in mind, when you're using the superior technology screen paint, uh, it's best when you're using it outside for projectors of 3500 lumens and up. No direct sunlight. Just want to show that. We've not done demonstrations with that. Uh, just no direct sunlight. So anyway, so keep in mind inside. If just keep in mind outside, this technology has the ability to pull images outside. Inside, everything else is a cakewalk. Now you can use it with projectors as low as 200 lumens. We don't recommend it, but it's just to show you exactly how far or how low you can go on the lumens when it comes to this. Now the projector I'm going to be using and the, doing the sorry the projector I'm using in this demonstration is one of the projectors we had shipped in. I got a sample. Well, actually, they gave me a sample projector. This is one of the companies that I'm dealing with um, that is uh, selling us or supplying these, these projectors. Now, this one I have here on the floor is black. The ones we're going to be getting is white. Uh, this one is 3000 lumens uh, XGA uh, 720p projector and keep in mind it looks incredible on our technology. You all know us for using uh, low entry level projectors, 720p projectors. They've even done demonstrations with 720p side by side to 1080p and 720p side by side to 4K and our technology just looks amazing all the way around. Now this is for those of you who don't own a projector and you're trying to figure out, okay wait a minute. Am I going to have a buy projector and I have to do all this research? I need something that's going to marry well with the screen. The screen going to marry well with the projector. Are they both going to marry well with the environment? Some of the things are going to be going through your head. Is the contrast going to be enough? All this stuff. Do I have enough lumens? All this stuff is going to be bouncing around in your head. This takes all the worry out of it. So keep in mind, the projector is going to look fantastic with the screen because it's using our technology. Now, first things first, let me show you the distance. i got to change out the cloth too. We are around... 13 feet and some change and there is the projector right here yes it is DLP HDMI there's the HDMI ports on the back look at my Chromecast plugged into the back of it VGA all the different kinds of different peripherals that you need to use on top of that it is on 3D it's called PC 3D ready so you can use this with 3D applications if you choose to um, like I said, and this was one of this is one of the projectors we chose to go with. We have a couple more. Yes, we are getting ultra short though projectors. As a matter of fact, um, I do have an ultra short though coming in today because a lot of you've been asking me how does the screen paint look on ultra short throw. So I have one coming in. All right, of course it's going to be 720p. Be warned, majority most of the projectors I use are 720p, and the reason why I do that is to show you that you don't have to spend a ton of money. You know, you don't have to go all out on 4K. You don't really have to go out on 1080p. You can spend the money and get a good projector. Let's move this out of the way and let's get this started for you all. All right, 13 feet back, 3,000 lumens. Look at the environment. I made sure that I've moved the picture over so it's in contact with the light, lights, lights, and lights. Plenty of lights. 13 feet back, all this light, 3,000 lumens. And at one point in my demonstrations, I got accused of using high lumen projectors until I pulled out that 2600 lumen projector but now we're at 3000 lumens. The majority of most projectors are 3032 but 3000 to 3200 lumens. 
Now this is using our ambient light rejection technology gain times five. Like I said, this technology can pull images up outside. What do you think it's gonna do inside? There is 10 times, let's not even say 10 times, let's say 100 times, let's say 1,000 times more ambient light outside than you have inside your home. And this is at 13 feet back and some change. So I already know what projectors are gonna look amazing on our screen paint. Keep in mind, this projector's never been calibrated. This is right out of the box. I did an unboxing on this projector on, um, the, um, on Facebook. And you can see the light. See the light to sit in the screen? Now also too, like I said, we're gonna have several forms of kits with these combo kits, these projector um, cinemas in the box. Some are gonna be wallpaper, some are going to be blackout cloth, and some are gonna be outdoor packages. There's the angle gain at 13 feet back on 3,000 lumens. Now, when I paid for my PX747 4K projector, I paid around $1,300 for that projector alone by itself. When I did that demonstration side by side with the 4K versus a ViewSonic 720p projector, and I seen the, the, um, the path we're going on, we're developing technology that comes very close to making a 720p look 4K. Interested in looking at that demonstration? I'll put it below, check it out. Um, it just had me thinking that, you know what? With this package deal, keep in mind, you don't have to spend $1,300 or $3,000 or $2,000 just for the projector alone. One of the packages that we do have that comes with the blackout cloth and one quart of the Superior is going to go for around $578. Now keep in mind, that is the projector, that is the blackout cloth, and that is or that amazing screen paint that makes that 720p projector look absolutely incredible and a fully lit environment. When you got screens out there, just for a white screen, if you got a motorized white projection screen, let's say by Elite or whatever, um, you're talking about four or five hundred dollars alone just for the screen. And I guarantee you, you will not be able to do what I'm doing right here in this demonstration. And like I said, before you buy from us, take the time. Look through the internet and see how many people are doing demonstrations on our level. This is why I moved the screen over because I wanted to make sure that the light here, everything's in contact with the screen at all times. I've done this around 19 feet back with a 42. All right, before my time runs out here, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Amulite Rejection, technology gain times two, three, and five. This right here is our amazing Superior. Let me get these out right here. I'm gonna be printing up tons of labels, man. I've got orders that you wouldn't believe that are still coming in. But there it is. That is our Superior Screen Paint right there.
and that's on 3,000 lumens. No 4K, no 1080p, no calibrating the projector. This projector is still in the factory settings. And of course, when you order your, um, your package, it's going to come in the box with all the packing that already comes with it, and it's going to come with remote control. Yes, these all come with remote controls. Now once that Arthur shirt though gets here, I'll be doing a demonstration on that one also. I think that'll be my last demonstration for the day. Because I'm going to tell you something, at the end of the day, you do not want to give, like I said, a lot of people are replacing their uh, TVs with projection screens. You don't want to be sitting in the dark. That's one of the things you don't want. Your TV, you can turn it on, have the lights on, have the window open. Sometimes you do a glare light come in and basically I wash out the picture a little bit. But you can have all your lights on. Tell me, if you own a TV, that every time you turn it on, that you have to turn on all your lights in the house and you have to darken your windows. Let me know if you ever had to do that with a TV. So, if you don't have to do that with a TV, why should you do that with a projector? You should be able to get the same results from your projector. And like I said, when you watch these demonstrations, majority of these screens are sitting in the dark. The high points of that screen will be in the dark, and that's where you're going to be at. If they're using 4K projectors, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to get that projector to achieve that same picture quality. And I can come in here at 13 feet and some change back and show you on a 720p projector of 3000 lumens and I can show you our screen in a fully lit environment and you won't see that screen wash out not one time. Now we're setting up these packages, everything will be good to go. I just have to get this one set up right here, that's the wallpaper projection screen. I have to get that set up, that's going to be pretty cool because all you got to do is coat that with our formula. When it dries, you can velcro that or use scotch double sided tape and connect it right to your wall. Now the biggest size of wallpaper screen will come in will be actually 4 feet by 8 feet. Now the last demonstration I showed you what this looks like on that portable screen. I just want to show you at a distance on what this looks like on our superior technology. I think I had it 9 feet back. I wanted to bring it back a little farther at 13. right here I'm gonna show you something I'm gonna stand in front of my projector really quick I want you to see the ambient light my legs are getting a little tighter I want you to see the ambient light that comes out on my screen see right here sorry that blurred for a bit that's how much ambient lights in contact with the screen at all times it's always ambient light these are floodlights these ain't everyday light bulbs. A lot of people don't realize these ain't everyday light bulbs. These are actual floodlights in my ceiling. See how big these things are? These are all floodlights. There's none of my floodlights in here. I think this one might be a floodlight too. Yeah, that's a floodlight too. All these are floodlights. The only light I have that's not floods are these. And these are the high bright fluorescent lights that you get uh, over at Home Depot. So there's tons of light in here hitting this screen. So keep in mind, at 3,000 lumens, it's got to travel 13 feet, connect with that screen with all that light, and come back with a beautiful image without washing out and fading.
interception. Jones with a spectacular pick for New England. Now keep in mind, we got about four more pre-orders left for the Superior Screen Paint. Mark, the official launch date will be on March the 10th. Thank you all for your time again, and God bless.